welcome all welcome to the uh, brand new live training for hp quick test professional slash unified functional testing so what we're going to do in the next few sessions starting from today is we will be taking one project and i'm going to show you how we're going to develop an entire automation suite for it end to end we're going to start from the very very basics and slowly build on the project as we go about executing this project as i show you how you're going to do it you're going to learn the same and you're going to practice on it now team do note that before you get started here i have assumed that each of you have gone through the videos which i had requested that you should all go through uh, these videos team you would find it in uh, the website if you go to uh, itelan.com let me quickly navigate you there and show you where it is Oops. all right team so uh, you're going to go to videos and you're going to select hp quick test professional while there are many videos here uh, you are going to focus on hp qtp slash uft out here you would notice that uh, the qtp 11.5 training videos uh, is the one i would want you to watch in here uh, there is a lot of content that has been developed however you're going to focus on the first 10 chapters okay this will give you quick high level overview on all the concepts uh, that are required for you to work efficiently on hp quick test professional vb scripting automation frameworks descriptive programming and so on so please make sure that you've gone through this before you come into this session however if someone is looking for a quick fast track to really get the breadth of what QTP does, how you could learn it and so on, uh, you could continue these sessions and practice along with me as we go along. That is about uh, it, uh, team. All right. Uh, for some of you who have not got enough time to practice or view them, uh, what I would request is you're going to have a three days gap from today to day two. And that is the time you should evaluate. Uh, you should utilize to go and get that all right all right so let's continue with uh, the overall agenda i'm going to go back to the powerpoint and show you what we're going to do today so a very simple team i'm going to talk about what we will do for the next two weeks as i said one project i am going to execute it and i'm going to show you how we're going to do it as part of the project execution you're going to master uh, the tool end to end all right now all i want you to do for every member is stay focused, look at my instructions and just follow them. Forget about everything else. All right. Put your confidence in me, stay with me and take the journey. At the end of this two weeks or one and a half week, you will see for yourself how well you would have learned this tool. All right. The next thing which we're going to focus today is I'm going to introduce you to the project. We will go about creating a high level automation plan. We'll talk about how we're going to create the test cases the entire test suite uh, the steps data etc and then how we're going to convert them slowly into automation right so today we're not going to start with the tool in mind okay so forget about all of those things in the back as always and which helps us to identify how we progress i'm going to take a simple i'm going to create a new folder in my google drive team all right i'm creating a new folder i'm going to call this qtp i'm going to stick with qtp slash j16 that's june 16th right and i'm going to say create so in this folder all that we will do team will be placed here the first thing that i'll do is for the project that we're working on or we're going to talk about i'm going to create a basic plan all right basic test automation plan okay and in this we will start putting all the information that we require and as time progresses and as time permits uh, typically at the end of the project 
all these files will be collated into a zip file and will be attached with this project with this uh, training videos on our website as you know uh, every session will get recorded every session will get hosted so you could go back repeat it as many times as you would want and uh, thanks to the effort of my team uh, the feedback of many participants and members we have in fact now made it as a mobile friendly so all the videos that you see here uh, you could watch them on your mobile devices uh, smartphones um, your tablets and so on so now um, the playback option is open for you from anywhere all right all right team so let's continue with where we are so the first thing we're going to talk about is a high level test plan what is it that we want to do okay so i'm going to rename this and i'll say plan so the first thing you need to do team is what is the application under test all right that is your beginning for anything application under test unless you know what is that application unless you understand the functionality of the application testing is not possible testing as a manual test engineers is the primary beginner level step without that you cannot jump into automation at all okay so you got to know the complete functionality of that application what does it do either the overall application or the specific module that you are going to work in all right and team the way i'm going to show it to you is how i would want you to i would expect you to showcase that skill be it in interviews or execute the projects when you get to it all right so take it as your beginning level and then as you build your experience you could improvise you could change the way you want to do and experiment with it right and honestly team you're going to love all these things that we're going to do in the next few days because it's going to be very very interesting how we slowly build it at the end of the day team if a thing if anything is not interesting it is very very tough to learn it right and that's my duty i'm going to try and make it more interesting but even otherwise the whole automation uh, world itself is very interesting so we're going to talk about application and test we're going to talk about functionality we're going to talk about scope of the tests all right and we'll talk about scope of automation so basically what does it mean team functionality is let's say 100% okay of the entire application this is still something that i have not spoken about scope of test is out of this 100% overall functionality in this project in this round of testing okay which for us is the next one and a half week or two weeks how much are we going to do are we going to do only 50% of the overall functionality or not now out of this how much portion are we going to actually automate cause not everything can be automated or not everything is a good candidate for automation what does it, what's the difference can be automated in the sense there is some amount of complexity that is not letting us do it is not going to let us automate the second is it is not efficient enough to do any kind of an automation for that scope all right so we're going to identify what is that scope probably let's say 20% very random numbers i'm just throwing you to give an idea all right so that is the one we'll also talk about simple parameters like start date okay end date and who uh, team members and so on what am i trying to do here team by putting all this information very simple my idea or intent is to develop a kind of a charter which says that what is it that we want to do which direction are we going how are we going to do things and so on it is always easy for you to go back and refer and look at it like a story that is developing day by day all right now uh start date today's date so i'm going to say 6 16 and we're going to end uh mostly by the 27th so i'm going to say 6 27 all right so that is the timeline that we have team members there are there'll be over 100 plus in this but let's uh talk about uh uh you individually working on it from your side okay after we complete this training project you will be following this with a live project where you are going to do this is the project where i am going to show you 
Next is going to be the project where you are going to do it along with your team members. And that's going to be very exciting, very interesting. And you need to work extremely hard to make that successful for yourself. Okay. So far, so good team. Any questions on what we have been doing, the direction we're going? Uh, and just a quick note, anything regarding sales um, or access and so on, please direct it to my team. My team is available significant portion of the time on live chat or on the emails. So you could reach out to them. Anything regarding the program that we're doing here and what we are going about with the training, Definitely put it in here, please. Any questions so far that I you may are looking for an answer, please? <laughs> the schedule team will be very simply shown to you through the go to webinar. Okay, so the go to webinar is going to show you the exact schedule. So if you go and check, it will show you the schedule. This week, Monday, Thursday, Friday. Next week, Monday to Friday. All right. That is the schedule that we have. It's not going to be uh, 14 sessions. It's only going to be uh, three, eight sessions in total. That's the length of the time it will take for us for the project. And uh, live project is going to be within two to three weeks. It all depends on how many people are going to be registering on it. So what you'll need to do, team, is uh, uh, as a team, uh, uh, we will be breaking it into teams and so on. Once we get there, I'm going to walk you through it. All right, team. So uh, I'm assuming right now you're all waiting to look at the application and what we're going to do. Um, so uh, let me quickly go there. Before that, last question that I want to handle is uh, for this case, I don't think you'll get access to the uh, Google Drive for the project. Yes definitely because each of your team members will put things in the project uh, for the training not necessarily because the files at the end uh, will be zipped into one file single file and shared with you all right uh, but when we get to the project for example uh, the selenium live project may 19th uh, not this one uh, you will see different folders being created for each of the projects okay uh, project teams and so on all right, team, uh, let's get going. So what is the plan? What is the application under test? And we will also talk about the domain of this application. All right. What I wanted to do, team, I wanted to take something a little bit in a healthcare. And the way I pick these applications is very simple, team. One, it should be a specific domain that you could put as something that you've gained experience on a little bit. Two, it will be easy for you to learn the tool, the automation tool itself. And three, at the end of the day, it has to be very interesting. It, you should be kind of be able to relate, understand what's happening and so on. Right? So I'm taking the healthcare domain. Something in the healthcare field. It's a very, very wide, vast field. But we're going to take something very narrow specifically. Okay, The functionality of this is something called as more on the fitness side right and we're going to focus specifically on something called as a bmi calculator okay bmi calculator is basically body mass index and most of you are probably aware honestly i have i'm not even sure if the abbreviation bmi what i just mentioned is correct but that is something that we're going to explore right now going forward so the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to open up google and I'm going to search for uh, the any website which is giving us the specific information about this. So I'm going to talk about BMI calculator and just do a quick search team. All right. If you notice, there are many results that have come up. We will take any of them. For example, BMI-calculator.net. Let us look at how this is. Okay, it's got specific uh, UI. It's got specific information. What I am, we are more keen to look at is something like, how do you go about using the inbuilt calculator? All right. So the intent is very simple, team. A user or one of the uh, members of this specific application visits the website and is able to put in information. For example, height as five feet, let's say 
10 inches okay weight let's say they're going to put around 185 pounds and then we're going to click on the calculate bmr at the end of it there is a analysis that is shown it talks about you have a bmi of so and so and it talks about what is uh, what does it signify to you right it's a very simple one so here is one application like that let's look at one more and see which one you want to pick and let i will let the team decide uh, which you want to take team there was a one uh, which had more uh, give me one quick second oops Uh, I saw one website this morning, just a few hours back, and I wanted to show that to you. Uh, 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 I think this is the one. Yeah, here's the other one. So, again, team, the intent is very simple. The intent is to try and find an application which will be challenging enough for us, which will give us a lot of potential things to test as well. Now, here is another website, bmicalculator.cc. Do you see this? Now, what this does is a little different. Uh, it doesn't have a simple calculator by itself. It has many more specifications. For example, it's saying standard measurements, and then it's talking about metric measurements, and it's giving some BMI categories. There's a lot of static text also to test and so on. So this is probably potentially a little bit more interesting for us to do uh, just because it is more, uh, 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 it's got more content in it. You could also do tests like, simple tests like, what is the text that is being shown here? What is the text that is being shown here? So a lot of things can be done team. Okay, so you are having more scope to test. There's more challenge. And this that is the reason I wanted to pick. But team, I will leave it to you. Which one do you want to do? The first one that I showed you, which is here, bmi-calculator.net. Uh, or should we do it for bmi-calculator.cc? Your call, please. Dot .cc, the second one. Second one, yeah, I think so too. Uh, just because there's more to test. At the end of it, if we get to explore more and do more, that's when we'll get something. But let's quickly see how does it work. So let's say 175 pounds. And uh, see, as you type here, uh, automatically the weight in kilograms also is showing up here. I'm going to put the height, 5 feet. Uh, let's say 5 inches. Oops. <laughs> Even before I... Um, do anything here it's showing us uh, the bmi it's giving us the analysis nice and it's also giving us how it is in terms of uh, the color combination see 11 you have a normal body weight great so i think this is good this is really going to give us a lot to play with a lot to experiment cool team so i think we should do this uh, what we're going to do is take this functionality and start working with it so now the application that is going to be tested is here. Control C and Control V. All right, team. So here's the application that we will focus on. And we're going to build our entire um, testing strategy for it. So the first thing that we need to do is identify what are the things that you want to test. So we're going to list down a few test cases. Team. Okay.